classified by authority of the SCP Foundation Overseer Council. This document and all associated documents are the property of the SCP Foundation, and are subject to the classification requirements and restrictions therein. This document may or may not contain lethal memetic defense measures. Attempting to access or disseminate this document without proper and sufficient authorization is punishable by death. Item Number SCP-6740 Level 2 Restricted Containment Class – Safe Disruption Class Dark, Risk Class Notice. Assigned Site Site 19. Site Director Tilda Moose. Research Head Dr. Everett Mann. Assigned Task Force Not Applicable. Special Containment Procedures SCP 6740 is contained within its location of discovery. Due to that location being within an active Foundation site, no external containment procedures are required. Pursuant to the terms of Ethics Committee Memorandum 914-19A, access to SCP-6740 is permitted to any Foundation personnel with appropriate clearances to be working within Site-19. Individuals who desire to enter SCP-6740 must sign in with the desk clerk at the entrance to the 7th subterranean level of the E-Wing. Description. SCP-6740 is an extra-dimensional spatial incursion manifesting within the unused offices on floor E7B of Site-19, specifically in the office formerly occupied by the now-defunct Office of Personnel Arrangements. Footnote 1. Notably, this office had stood empty for over three decades prior to the discovery of SCP-6740. SCP-6740 manifests as a region of the empty office that has had its spatial geometry altered significantly. Specifically, the area directly adjacent to SCP-6740 no longer has a visible ceiling. Support columns throughout the office now extend indefinitely upwards into space, which itself presents as a starry sky in a perpetual state of dusk. On the far end of the former Office of Personnel Arrangements is the entrance to SCP-6740 proper. A large white doorway in an ornate frame in the shape of a horned stag situated into the wall that previously separated the main floor space of the office with an adjoining storage room. The doorway is the only access point to SCP-6740. Attempting to enter SCP-6740 through any other means, such as scaling one of the office walls, is impossible, as SCP-6740 is simply not present beyond the wall unless entered through the main door. Beyond the door is SCP-6740 proper, an expansive mausoleum constructed out of polished marble tile with iron fixtures. The full size of SCP-6740 is impossible to determine. SCP-6740's inner dimensions appear to increase over time. Despite its expansive size, research indicates that it is impossible to become lost within SCP-6740. Individuals who wish to leave SCP-6740 will quickly find themselves at the mausoleum's exit. The contents of the vaults within SCP-6740 have been a point of some uncertainty. While the total number of vaults has thus far been impossible to ascertain, it is currently recognized that every vault thus far catalogued within SCP-6740 has been the vault for a deceased member of Foundation staff, a civilian contractor working with the Foundation, a member of D-Class, or an individual identified to have perished during the containment or containment attempt of another anomaly. Radiographic analysis indicates that there are humanoid figures within each of the vaults, though the exact nature and makeup of those figures is unknown, and the vaults themselves have thus far been impossible to open. Due to the Foundation's policy of cremating the remains of all staff or other associated individuals, it is uncertain as to whether or not the figures within the vaults are the original bodies of the deceased individuals, and all attempts at exhumation of other relevant persons have been inconclusive. The interior of SCP-6740 is consistent across its entire area, with a single exception. A bronze statue of a stag standing atop a black marble plinth is present within the entryway of the mausoleum, just beyond the first set of vaults. Radiographic analysis of the plinth indicates that there is a humanoid figure within a vault below the platform as well. On the front of the marble plinth is an engraved poem in English. The origin of the poem is unknown. The full text is available below. I was born sleeping, my eyes closed to the harsh light and cold truth of a world beyond the four walls of my youth. As a child I would gaze into the darkness of night and wonder if there were more secrets left to be known, 
or if the last of the dragons had died when the sun set in a much younger sky. It was here we saw with opened eyes that long hidden truth of our world. It was never ours alone, and it was never without secrets hidden in the dark. I had wandered, unknowing, for timeless years like a fawn alone in a quiet forest. But within this hallowed temple, to the best of our intentions, did I find purpose in our mission. To secure that old darkness. To contain what lies within. To protect what lies without. My part to play was but as a single actor on a stage far larger than I had mind or reason to comprehend. Yet it was a part all the same. When the Crook of the Reaper came for me, I did not lament my passing, for I did so with open eyes, able at last to see the stars in the sky of my childhood. Now here I do rest, with those nameless multitudes who, by desire or design, laid their lives aside on the road of our common passage. Within our shared grave lie we who sleep again, our part now complete and our curtains drawn. We had dreamt of dragons, and found angels among us. Here lies a doctor of the SCP Foundation. Awake at last. That's it for today everyone, thank you so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Alexis Zagreit, Lesby Friends, Scrubversive, and Max Loves Ears. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.